Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from GGCheckIt.com and welcome to another update slash tutorial. Which is not the normal around here, but uh, there's a couple things that I needed to clear up with you guys. First of all, I know our website has been down for the last uh, couple of weeks or so. Some of you were pretty upset about that. And I just wanted you guys to know that our website is now back up 100% functional with a brand new layout and design to make it all that much more sexy for you guys. So uh, for those of you that don't know what our website is, it's chichicheckit.com. You can click a link in the description if you want to... Uh, you know, just click a link rather than try and type it out. And there you go, guys, our brand new designed website for chuchacheckit.com. And we've got all kinds of uh, goodies on here. We have music, we have a, a brief intro for our tutorials. And the biggest thing that you guys have of interest is the downloads. So uh, just real quick demo, here we go. We have all of our freaking downloads that we've had since uh, since day one for you guys. And just a quick little demo once again, um, if you want to sort through these guys, you simply just click a link, voila, you click wallpapers, you have wallpapers. If you want some project files, voila, you got project files. So there you go guys, you just have a whole bunch of downloads and we'll be adding more and more onto that list. So go ahead and check out that website and you should uh, find some stuff of interest. All right, so the second order of business, Eli and I are going to be leaving on Sunday, June 30th to go to California for three weeks. And uh, I know you, some of you guys are going to be kind of worried that we won't be releasing any videos or anything of that sort. Don't worry, guys. We'll be recording some tutorials and maybe some gaming videos ahead of time. So that way we can upload those as the weeks you know, progress on and on. So uh, go ahead and keep checking back here every uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, or whatever you do to check back in. And also look at our uh, ch uh, Chitty Check It Gaming uh, profile as well. And you should see some stuff, you know, over the coming weeks. All right, so now that those two things are out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial portion of this video. So, a lot of people have been asking me lately about, um, you know, more about my desktop layout. And they've been wondering how I can get some of the icons on the desktop, but without having any of the, uh, like, the words or the titles on them. And I keep explaining to you guys that I'm using a program called Rocket Doc to do that, but people keep asking me, so I'm just making a video to show you guys how the fluff <laughs> I go about uh, setting up these icons and stuff. So, uh, before you actually go into downloading Rocket Doc, let me just show you a few things that I do to clean up the desktop beforehand. So, first of all, I like getting rid of these default icons on the desktop. I don't like having computer or recycle bin. I just like a clean desktop. So to get rid of those, we right click somewhere on the desktop and choose personalize. And then on the left hand side, we'll choose change desktop icons and we'll get this little settings box here. And all you have to do is uncheck the computer and recycle bin icons and click OK. That is it. Nice and simple. Another thing that I do is uh, to move my taskbar. Since I have a uh, another monitor off to the right hand side, I tend to put the taskbar on that screen so you guys don't see it during tutorials. So to do that, you just right click on the taskbar, uncheck the lock taskbar option, and you should be able to just click and drag this sucker wherever the heck you want from the left, the top, the right, or the bottom once again. Except in my case, I'm going to put it off to the screen on my right hand side and voila, I've got this beautifully clean desktop. And so next up, what I want to do is apply a wallpaper that kind of has a dock in mind for it already. So let me just go ahead and navigate to a folder with a background that I want to use and set that as my background. And some of you guys might remember this from the past. This is our glass logo that I made in Cinema 4D ages ago. And I made this with a glass bar up top just so I would have a place to put a dock. So this was completely intentional from the get-go. I wanted a dock here, so I put in a glass bar. So something that you might want to keep in mind when choosing out a wallpaper of your own. So how about we go ahead and download Rocket Dock. So just go to rocketdock.com. That's really weird to say. And we'll go to download, and you'll see that for the system requirements, this will work in Windows 2000, XP, Vista, and 7. It does not say it's going to work in Windows 8, but you know what? You can try if you want. And obviously, you don't need this in Mac because, um, well, you already have a dock. So let's go ahead and download Rocket Dock. 
Unfortunately, they don't have a 64-bit edition of this, but it still works even if you're on a 64-bit machine like I am. It's just, you know, it can't run as fast as it could, I assume. So let's go ahead and run this exe file and we'll accept the agreement and we will install in the default directory without a desktop icon and in it goes and finish. So you'll notice that um, it actually doesn't run Rocket Dock by default. You actually have to start it up yourself. So I'll just bring back my taskbar and we should see Rocket Dock right there. We'll give that a click. And voila, we have Rocket Dock in all of its glory. So let's get rid of that taskbar. And you'll notice that right now it's really not all that pretty. So we need to do a little bit of cleaning up. And using Rocket Dock is really simple. If you don't want an icon on it, all you have to do is click and drag that sucker off, just like you would if you were using a Mac. So I basically just go ahead and get rid of all of these icons. I mean, you can keep the uh, control panel if you want, because if you click that, it just opens up you know, your control panel, but I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of it. And also there, uh, there are these uh, dock settings on here for the, uh, you know, the settings of the dock. But you can also get to your dock settings by right-clicking on an icon, choosing Rocket Dock, and going down to the dock settings. So I don't need that either, so I'll just get rid of that while I still can. Okay, so what do we do to get some icons on here? Well, the way I do it is really simple. Let's bring this sucker over here. I want to, let's see, let's uh, try putting on Chrome. So I'll bring up Chrome. And I'll just click and drag from the start menu straight onto the dock, let go. Voila, you have Google Chrome. And then I can just do the same thing for, say, uh, Premiere. And let's put on Premiere. And let's also do After Effects. And we'll put After Effects on there. Another thing is Photoshop, so we'll grab Photoshop, and basically, uh, oh, and also sometimes what happens is when you uh, apply a shortcut or anything like that, uh, sometimes it'll get this little question mark on it for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but a quick fix is to right-click on that particular icon, go to the icon settings, and then click default icon, except this one apparently doesn't want to work. So something's up with Photoshop CC and I will have to figure out what is wrong with it. Maybe I'll have to find the icon file or maybe just restarting Rocket Doc will fix that up. I really don't know what the problem is. So I guess I'll just continue on adding stuff. So let's add in Dreamweaver and let's also add in uh, ReCentral, which is the program for my Live Gamer HD. And also, I'll go ahead and put on Firefox because I'm a web developer and, you know, I kind of use both of those. And of course, who could forget iTunes? iTunes is also very important. And voila, we have some icons on our dock. So what can we do to make this look a little bit more appealing? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and go to the recycle bin, give that sucker a right click, go to the icon settings for it. And if you click default icon, that will switch it back to the Windows 7 style recycle bin, which I think looks way better than what they have for Rocket Dock. And uh, let's also go back into the dock settings over here. And let's kind of uh, start playing with some settings. So first of all, I'm going to bump up the quality to the highest quality because I know my computer can handle it. And also I like putting the opacity down all the way. So that way the, uh, the icons are 50% opaque when you're not doing anything on the dock. But then when you actually hover over an icon, it will become uh, fully opaque. So it's just a little feature that I like to do. And of course, the, uh, the size here will change the size of the dock. And uh, I'll just kind of put that up to right about there for the time being. Also, the zoom, I like having it a little bit more subtle so I can put that down. But... Uh, before I do that, let's go ahead and check out some of the hover effects. So right now you have bubble, which is, you know, pretty uh, standard for docks. But then you also have plateau, which will be a much more flat version of that bubble effect. And then you also have flat, which zooms in all of the icons and simply just moves them side to side as you move your mouse cursor left and right. So uh, I like to keep that as bubble. And I will put down the uh, zoom size quite a bit, maybe around 
10 pixels or so. So that way it's just a really subtle effect. I think it looks pretty nice myself. And also I like to put down the zoom width all the way down to the minimum. And the zoom width is essentially how many icons uh, within the vicinity are zoomed in. So with only two uh, for the zoom width, you basically only have like one or one or two icons to the side that are zooming when you uh, hover over an icon. But if you were to put this all the way up, then you'll have more of those icons zooming in when you're hovering, uh, hovering over the dock. So you can mess with that as you want. Also, the zoom duration is how long it takes for it to zoom in. I don't usually mess with that. I just kind of keep it as it is. So position, this one's obviously uh, nice and obvious. The monitor, it just depends how many monitors you have. You probably are not going to mess with that by default. The screen position, you can have it on the top, the bottom, the left, or the right. Obviously, I'm going to keep it up top because that's where my bar is. And the centering, you can move this sucker left and right appropriately. Maybe I'll put this a little bit more off to the left-hand side over here. And the edge offset is how far it is from the edge. And if you put that into the negatives, it will kind of put this off screen a little bit. Or if you put it into the positive amount, it will just very slightly push that away from the edge of your screen. So I'm thinking this is looking like a pretty decent spot for it. It's uh, right alongside the bar there. And next up, we'll go down into the style. And they have a whole bunch of built-in themes uh, themes for this, but you can always uh, go and download more. One of my favorite ones is uh, is Arrow Milk. I don't know why I like it so much, but I like it anyway. And I suppose it doesn't even matter because something that I like to do is put the opacity of that all the way down to zero. So that way you really don't see the dock at all. All you see are the icons. Now, here's the other uh, little trick here. People have asked me how I get rid of the, uh, the names of the icons. This is how I do it. Disable icon labels. Voila. There you go. All you have are icons on your desktop that kind of zoom in a little bit when you put your mouse over them. So that right there is... Basically, my entire secret. Woo! Nothing special, guys. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know. I guess I guess it is kind of cool, though, that, that you can do something like this. Uh, so, also, you got uh, behavior, which uh, basically just happens when you click on, on an icon. Or you can turn on auto-hide, so that way um, it, the dock hides itself when you're not using it. But then, when you want to use it, you just put your mouse up to that, uh, that side that it's on and you know pop it up as if it were you know the same as the Mac dock so I don't use that I just turn that off and I leave it as it is and that is basically all that you really need to worry about with uh, the dock here of course you have some other settings like you can turn on uh, run at startup you can choose a language which um, as far as I know doesn't really matter too much and also you can choose to store these settings in a portable INI file this is really handy if you want to uh, copy and paste your settings to uh, to someone else and let them use the same settings as you. Also, you can uh, decide to minimize windows to the dock. Personally, I don't like this because it, it tends to you know act a little bit glitchy, but you can mess with that as you want. Uh, running application indicators, if there is a program that's currently on, it will have a little tick mark above or below it or off to the side of it, depending on which screen you have. Uh, again, something that I don't usually use because, you know, I really don't think I need it. And uh, open running application instance. You want to, well, personally, I like having this on because um, basically it means if you already have a uh, particular, oop, if you have that uh, program already running, that means if you give that icon a click, it will just open that existing program. So anyway, back into the dock settings. Um, Something that's, let's see, I'm trying to remember here. So screen position, top, bottom, left, right. I need to find the uh, stacking order here because I think I I must have missed it somewhere. Um, there we go. Okay. So one thing I skipped over is the position. So for the layering, uh, by default, it's always on top. But personally, I like having it always on bottom. So that way, when I do things like uh, running or open a running application, it just kind of you know opens normally and covers up the dock. This is solely for me something that stays on the desktop, which is 
you know, just what I like to do. So, um, one last thing that I want to show you guys, and you can play as much as you want. Let me put back up the opacity. Um, something that you guys need to know for sure is that when you're trying to add icons onto the dock, it it acts better when you have a little bit of opacity turned on. When you have the opacity all the way down, it kind of it, it doesn't like it when you try and add stuff onto it because it thinks you're trying to add an icon like behind it. So when you're trying to uh, add more icons onto the dock, make sure you have at least a little bit of opacity so that way it actually puts that shortcut onto the dock. And anyway, I'll put that uh, I'll put this up just so you can see something else that I like to do here. Uh, I like to add in some spacing between each of my shortcuts, and the way I do that, uh, say I want to have a uh, a space between the Google Chrome icon and the Firefox icon. All I have to do is right click the one that's on the left, go to Add Item, and you can either choose a file, a path, or you can use a blank icon and some other things. Uh, the one that I use is called Separator. And apparently adds it to the left. So just click and drag that sucker as you need. And let's try adding in some more separators. Uh, apparently it's kind of random. So add item, separator, and we'll just drag that where it needs to be. So now each of these suckers has a separator between it. And I'll go to the dock settings and turn down the opacity all the way. And would you look at that, guys? It looks like I just have some standard little... Uh, icons on my desktop and they're just well except for this little question mark here which obviously is being a pain in my butt that's all you guys need to know when it comes to using your own dock on your computer I hope you guys enjoyed the the video and the tutorial and all that uh, if you have any comments or anything leave them in the comment section below and also don't forget to give this video a like check out our new website all of that fun stuff is ready for you to do and uh, I will see you guys in about a month or so, huh? <laughs> I'm going to California. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.